So I bought a couple of these from AliExpress about a year ago, thinking that oh, they might come in handy. And they're um, Bluetooth receiver transmitter units. Um, had it for a year, and uh, I never actually found a use for it. Um, so let's have a look at it and see what we've got in the pack. There's the instruction leaflet. In English and Chinese. Small audio cable. And that's um, 18 inches maybe. And the Bluetooth unit itself. We've got a USB connector, a small button on the side, I don't know if you can see that there, and then um, a hole for the audio cable. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so uh, I suppose the first thing we have to do is pair this thing up. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've tried this before. I tried it on my uh, desktop PC and when you do a search for additional Bluetooth items this comes up as a BT600 but interestingly you can't see anything if you try and pair it with an external speaker so um, let's see how that works so when you plug on initially this red LED means it's in transmit mode and it automatically goes into a pairing mode so let's turn the speaker on and that should also go into a pairing mode Not much of indication to say that it's uh, it's paired, if indeed it has paired. So, um, oh, there we go. Obviously, pairing is taking place now, and the LED has slowed down, so it's paired up with a device, and hopefully, it's this jam speaker. So, uh, let's find something to put uh, to put at this end, and we'll try transmitting over the Bluetooth to the jam speaker. Okay, I'm going to use the, um, one of my existing videos as sound source to avoid any sort of copyright issues. And this is one of my videos on a Taranis QX7. So that's clearly coming through the speaker. I appreciate it's not particularly obvious in a video, but if I operate the uh, the volume controls. This is a little jobby in question. Um, it's a, a CR1220. And we can just put that just by popping out with a screwdriver. Um, so that's fairly simple. Um, what I did find, which is also quite interesting, so let's get rid of this for the time being, is if you remove the input from this, after a few seconds, it will shut itself down and goes into a, I'm guessing, to a, a quiescent mode to save power. And as you can see now, it's gone to a, a quiescent mode. And if you unplug it, plug it back in again, it goes back into pairing mode, which is quite handy, I suppose. So that was transmit mode. Let's see about receive mode. At the moment it's in transmit mode and if you press the little button on the side for a period of about three seconds, change it to a blue light, which is the receive mode. And if we refresh the phone, I hope you can see that's reasonably in focus. It's found a BT600, which is the device we want. And we now know that that is connected. So <clears throat> what we can do is transmit from the phone, theoretically, to this little Bluetooth module, which is now got into the uh, 
slow flash to show that it's pairing in in receive mode anyway but what i've got is this pair of uh, sony headphone speakers so let's just put that to one side for the time being and these are just wired headphones so let's remove the supplied lead and plug the headphones in now i imagine it's going to be quite difficult to uh, to hear so we'll I'll do my best to uh, make it obvious. So the video is running. The device is in receive mode. Let's turn the volume up. So, may not be screaming obvious, but uh, that is definitely coming through those um, through those headphones. So not the best demo. Um, handy then. So. I said before I hadn't found a use for it. Um, I have now because I tend to travel a lot with work. I stop in a lot of hotels. Often the TV is rubbish, so I take a fire stick with me. Uh, one of the other things they tend to do in hotels is keep the volume down on the television so you can't disturb the person next door, which is quite reasonable. But I, again, uh, I'm getting on a bit, so I struggle to hear things a little bit. And I've got some um, Beats Bluetooth headphones, which you may have seen in an earlier video. But the battery on those has now failed and I need to replace that battery. But in the interim, this provides a, a useful um, way of receiving that Bluetooth signal that comes from my Fire Stick onto a set of headphones, which means I can adjust the volume to suit me and I don't disturb the person next door. And all with this nice little handy um, Bluetooth dingly dongle. Um, if we look at it, the USB is just for the power. The little selector switch initiates in uh, transmits mode, press for three seconds, uh, it goes into receive mode, uh, flashes rapidly when it's looking to link up, and flashes steadily once it's uh, once it's paired with some. Was it useful? Yeah, I think it's gonna be. Is it easy to use? Yeah, very, very simple. Was it expensive? No, it was about two pounds 50 from uh, AliExpress. So, was it a good buy? Yeah, I'm happy with it, um, so. Hope it was interesting. If not interesting, informative. Thanks very much, and please remember to hit that like button because it helps with the algorithm. Thanks very much, and uh, till the next time. Cheers, bye.